what it came back to is was the quality of coffee in the United States has really come down over mm-hmm. o- over several decades. Um, and so that's when I thought that there was an opportunity to uh, to bring better tasting coffee or specialty coffee as it's known today um, to the United States. That's- Perfect. Thank you so much for joining us today. I, I I tasted your your coffee that you sent over earlier this week, and I loved it. And I'm just excited to kind of get to know you more. Y- your background is interesting, how you got into this work, and learn more about coffee in general. So just as I get to know you, starting off very generally, what is your favorite thing about coffee? Is there a moment that kind of inspired you to really get into coffee professionally? Uh, favorite thing I like about coffee is really the flavor. Um, and, 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 and that actually was how we, how I got started is, uh, I'm from Costa Rica and, uh, for a long time I would do annual trips with the family. It was to be a family vacation. And on one of our trips, we did a, uh, a, a, a coffee, uh, farm tour and, uh, just got to learn about coffee. And this is back in 2004. Huh? And one of the things that that dawned on me, and I kind of already knew this, but it just kind of like cemented for me that on that one trip is how coffee in Costa Rica was so much better than coffee in the United States. I just Hmm. didn't understand, you know, why a third world country, you know, had better coffee. Um, And, uh, you you know, I, I what it came back to is was the quality of coffee in the United States has really come down over mm-hmm. o- over several decades um and so that's when i thought that there was an opportunity to uh to bring better tasting coffee or specialty coffee as it's known today um to the united states that's how it, that's that's really how it got started and it really was more about the flavor and just enjoying you know the richness of a costa rican coffee is there a simple reason why first world coffee just isn't as good uh yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, the general sense was um, um, just because it became a more of a highly produced, big production, big coffee houses. Um, um, and and I'll, I'll tell you a quick story. Uh, a lot of people don't know this, like the word Maxwell House, it actually is a chain of hotels. Um, and some of them are still in existence. And so Maxwell House started from the uh, the the Maxwell House Hotel in Memphis, Tennessee, and oh. uh, and they were they served breakfast and they had really good coffee, <laughs> and it and it became really popular. Right. And, uh, it became very famous, and then eventually it became its own brand, Maxwell House, and then it ended up getting acquired by corporate conglomerates, and that really good tasting coffee just turned into coffee. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's really what happened to coffee in the United States is 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 you know it, w- it was at one time people would really you know back and this is I'm talking back in the 1920s 1930s 1940s people really appreciated good coffee and then just kind of lost sight of what good coffee was. That's amazing. The Maxwell House story is a great example of that. I we uh, we were talking a few weeks ago to someone who works at a big spirits company. And they mentioned the same thing that once an artisanal brand kind of goes corporate, oftentimes what made them so good, they find ways to, the quality goes down, which is unfortunate, but that's a really good example. Yeah, um, it's true. And, 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 you know, just to go on, uh, is, is, is the statement that I've, uh, you know, that, that that's famous, but I've heard is the accountants got involved at the corporate level. And it was just, Buy cheaper quality, make it cheaper. You know, how can we reduce costs? And that's how we ended up where we are. The accountants, we can blame the accountants. <laughs> I, it's a shame, but I, I get it. I can see that point of view. 